Renegade Army, it's me, Tara. I know you guys are thinking, wow, Halloween threw up all over your house. Do you feel like, oh wow, I'm looking into the Hobby Lobby. She filming this at a Michael's Arts and Crafts store and they've already got all the Halloween stuff set up? No, this is my house. This is only half of it. Some of you guys might be like, eh, I think it's maybe too much. And I would say you are an idiot. You sound really dumb right now. This is professional. Let's move on to, to what we're doing, huh? Let's of dogs and I of dogs the Japanese archipelago 20 years in the future canine saturation has reached epidemic proportions an outbreak of dog flu rips through the city of Megasaki. Mayor Kobayashi issues emergency orders, calling for a hasty quarantine. Trash Island becomes an exiled colony. The Isle of Dogs. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Exactly. Same right. here. Words out of my mouth. <laughs> Nobody's giving up around here, and don't you forget it, ever. You're Rex. You're King. You're Duke. You're Boss. I'm Chief. We're a pack of scary, indestructible alpha dogs. Atari Kobayashi, you heroically hijacked a junior turboprop XJ750 and flew it to the island because of your dog. Darn it. I've got a crush on you. We get the idea. You were looking for your lost dog spots. Does anybody know him? No. no. I've lost all of my pride. Spots, if he's alive, may very well be living even at this moment as a captive prisoner. Somebody is up to something. Will you help him? The little pilot. Why should I? Because he's a 12 year old boy. Dogs love those. We'll find him. Wherever he is, if he's alive, we'll find your dog. Ah! It's gonna be a fight! I wish somebody spoke his language. The north, a long rickety causeway over a noxious sludge marsh leading to a radioactive landfill polluted by toxic chemical garbage. That's our destination. Great. Got it. Get ready to jump. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is amazing. Canine population has exploded. They all get the flu and then what's his name? Kobayashi? Kobayashi. Let's check it. They are Kobayashi. He sentences them to Trash Island. It's like, wow, what a jerk. Why don't you go check out Trash Island, Kobayashi? But you've never even gotten a sniff, gotten a look at Trash Island. You don't even know where it's at. I've already clocked you. You know what I've clocked you as? As a meaning. I don't think I can stomach any more of this garbage. Yeah, I took the words right out of my mouth. You know, I probably get sick of eating trash too. In the beginning, I might think, oh wow, I've never eaten trash before. It's a new experience. Let's dive in. Let's see what they got. Then after a while, I'd probably get sick of it too, like these guys. Oh, and then we get to the love part. Ataro, I think was his first name. And the reporter who's trying to find him is like, oh dang it, I got a crush on you. Uh, I would be in love with Atari too. Pfft, man, he makes me want to date a pilot. Somebody who would steal planes for me. Like, oh, I lost my dog. And they're like, no problem. Let me go steal a plane. Let's look for it. And I'd be like, yeah, okay, amazing. Wow, let's get married to Tomorrow. She had a lot of little spots, little freckles, so I'm like, well, he likes Spot. He's gonna like all your spots, too, so you better go find him. And that way he'll be like, I love Spot, and I love all your spots. You're welcome, because I just wrote their wedding vows. No problemo. That's what I do. Spots might be a prisoner. Walking through, and we see all these tape recorders that he's walking towards, and I'm like, okay. So maybe they found out the dogs could talk. Dog interrogation, and it's probably horrible. You gotta help him. Why should I? Because he's a 12-year-old boy. Dogs love those. Yeah, buddy, come on. Get with the dogness inside of you. Give up the old, oh, I don't do hugs or love, chief. Like, come on, give me a break. This kid, he's gonna steal your heart. I see it coming, chief. Cut to the kid. Man, he looks angry and he's like, Man, 
I'm like, I wish somebody knew his language. And I'm like, you know that? I wish I knew what he was saying there, too. Whoa, and also when the kid, he has a slingshot, he shoots it up, and the bullet hits one of their robotic dogs, and then it cuts to them looking at a TV screen of the kid who's still with the slingshot. Shoot your slingshot all day long. Let's get rid of the robot dogs, and we just go back to only the real dogs. That's it. We just need dogs for friends. Kobayashi, all your ideas sound really stupid, right? You're like, let's make a dog out of metal. You can't cut it with a piece of metal. When you hug a piece of metal, it doesn't feel so great. So let me just tell you right now, Mayor Kobayashi, you're full of bad ideas. A long rickety causeway over a noxious sludge marsh leading to a radioactive landfill <laughs> polluted by toxic chemical garbage. That's our destination. Great, Great. got it. Get, Get ready, ready to, to jump. jump. See you guys there. Please pledge one dollar to my Patreon. It would help me out so so much. You spend like three dollars on a cup of coffee. It would be really helpful if you spent one dollar a month and you pledged it to my channel. Help this idiot out. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.